Uh, here's a little uh, 5 volt DC power supply that I built that I use sometimes. It has a, a it has a line cord in that connects to this little, little circuit breaker. That's a one amp circuit breaker, and it has a transformer and a five volt voltage regulator, LM7805, and a filter capacitor or two, and a full wave bridge made out of a uh, little 1N4000 series rectifier diodes and uh, an LED, LED dropping resistor on the output. And then here's the output, positive and negative. It's just as simple as you can get. Very basic power supply. And here's the line cord for it. Oops, sorry. Uh, right here. Okay, so I'm going to plug the line cord in to my power strip which is right there. So here we go. Uh, I'm trying to do this with one hand without shocking myself. Okay, line cord is plugged in. You can see that the, uh, that the DC power bus light is on there. Now I'm going to unplug the line cord. Okay, it's unplugged now. You can see that the LED stays on for a while until it fades and goes out. And that of course is because there's power stored in that capacitor and the LED bleeds off that uh, power that's in the reservoir. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is uh, we're not going to use the line cord. It's just there. Okay. And what I'm going to do instead is take uh, the output from that little power supply there, which comes out to these clip leads, and I'm going to hook it to the output of that power supply, the little 5 volt power supply. Okay, and now, now I'm going to give it a little bit of voltage. You see that LED come on? And I turn the voltage down, on, down, on, down. So there's no persistence in the LED, or very little persistence when I'm doing this. Just turning the voltage on the power supply up and down a little bit. Okay, so the power, the LED, which is just uh, in series, or rather, I'm sorry, in parallel, the LED and the dropping resistor are in parallel to the DC output of the power supply. So if there's DC or even AC coming in to the outputs of this kind of a power supply, the power LED, the monitor LED, will light up. Okay, uh, even when the thing is unplugged. And then when that power source is removed, the LED goes out right away. It doesn't have the persistence that it had when this capacitor is fully charged. In fact, the current going through the LED coming in from the outside is preventing the capacitor from charging up. Alright, thanks for watching.